so it, I'm going to go back to Isaiah 27, 1, that, uh, that Pastor Bruno was talking about last night. And I want to read this because I, th I think it's very clear what you guys have been up against. It says, Isaiah 27, 1, it says, In that day, the Lord, with his sore and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. I have no doubt that this is what you've been coming up against. You know why? Because listen to the characteristics. If you actually study it out in, in um, Job chapter 41, these are some of the characteristics. He hates prayer. He hates revival. He resists the move of God. He hates unity. Filled with pride. Filled with arrogance. Prayerlessness. Very stubborn and resistant. Does this sound like things that you've come up against even in your normal life here? It's a covenant breaking spirit, a divisive spirit. It refuses to serve. So every time you volunteer and serve, you are striking a blow at Leviathan. Come on. It's an spirit of fear and intimidation. It's a spirit of religion. It produces hopelessness, fear, apathy, strife, and contention. I know I'm firing a lot of things at you, but I just want to show you. I didn't come up with this last night after he preached. This is what the characteristics of Leviathan are. And this is everything they've come against. It hates uh, the move of, the, of God. It twists communication. It twists understanding. It twists uh, contracts. It twists agreements. It tries to break them. It's antichrist. It's humanistic. It's filled with atheism, agnosticism. And God raised King's Cathedral up to take it down. Now when you look at that scripture, it's very interesting because they call... Um, Leviathan, the piercing serpent, and the crooked serpent. So let's look at what those words mean in Hebrew. It's very interesting. The word piercing means to drive you away and put you to flight. Isn't that what Leviathan tried to do? To drive you away and put you to flight. The word crooked means bent, twisted, distorted, to be bent out of shape. <laughs> Anybody here ever get bent out of shape? You don't have to raise your hand, okay? And the word serpent there means to hiss or whisper a spell of witchcraft and divination. See, you guys have not just been up against natural circumstances. You've been up against a spiritual stronghold. But on the other hand, I want to release something over. If you wouldn't mind just standing to your feet. A number of days before we came here, this is what the Lord just showed me. Just lift your hands up. The Lord said, when he sees what's happening here today, he says, I see glory carriers. I see a remnant in this state that is rolling out a red carpet. And I, I had this vision. And in this, and in this vision, we were rolling out a red carpet for the king of glory. And then Pastor Daniel got up last night and said the worship team is rolling out a red carpet up to heaven. I wrote this like five days ago. That we're rolling out a red carpet for the king of glory. And it's reaching up to his throne. Breaking open the atmosphere. But then I saw another carpet coming down from heaven. And as it rolled out, it was shimmering shiny gold. A trumpet blasted. And it was declared, make way for the king of glory. He is coming as the Psalms 24. Jehovah Shabbat Sabaoth, the Lord strong and mighty in battle, the Lord of the angel armies, the King of glory is descending upon this state, the state that is called to carry his glory, a glory state, a watchman state, watching in the heavens and watching in the earth, a gateway state for the Lord of hosts. Your numbers may be small, but you are mighty. Watch how God will do much with a few. His glory will spark fires all over this state. Then I saw ten ladders in ten cities where contending prayer has gone up. The sky looked dark. But the angelic ladders were penetrating the atmosphere with light. I believe these are the first of the cities to experience the glory revival that has come. It will penetrate the heavens, causing eyes blinded by Antichrist. That's atheism, agnosticism, mammon, hardness of heart from the west, and shamanism, and witchcraft, and the occult from the east and the first nations. That it's going to cause their eyes to suddenly be open and hearts to cry out. Come on, you know what this means? This 
means your prodigals are getting a revelation of who Jesus is. Your prodigals are coming home. And the Lord declares, revival is not just on a way. Revival's here. Revival's here. Here comes the King of glory. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle that crushes Leviathan under his feet. That breaks every yoke of Leviathan off of his people and off of his purpose. Lift your hands up. Father, I release the double portion all over this house, God. They're breaking out. They're going through and beyond. This is a day of breakthrough. Now, I want you to declare this with me. Because, see, I hear the Lord saying that this is a time of acceleration and multiplication for KC. What used to take months is going to take weeks. What used to take weeks is going to take days. What used to take days is going to take hours because the spirit of resistance is broken. Doesn't mean that you won't face it here and there. But remember that the overarching spirit has been broken. And I, I want you to decree this with me today. Lift your hands and we're going to put a decree on the screen. Hallelujah. Okay, I don't see it coming, but I will start it. And you guys can just decree it after me. We decree today. We are crossing over into our new season. A season of breakthrough here at KC. Oh, we got it. Okay. Just read it with me. I want you just to read it with me. We receive a new mantle for the new day. We are making way for the King of Glory to come here in Wasilla and throughout this state. Leviathan is now under our feet. Come on, put him under your feet. Resistance is broken and a fresh anointing is here. We decree we are yoke breakers and curse destroyers because the Holy Ghost lives in us. Souls will be saved. Bodies will be healed. Families will be reconciled. Prodigals will come home. This building will be paid off in record time because of all the financial miracles of the people. We receive our double portion mantle from this point forward. Jesus be glorified in all we do and say in your name we decree it all. Give the Lord a shout. Woo! Come on. Shout the word breakthrough. Shout the word victory. Shout the word triumph. Hallelujah.